running my HCGP Kind of my mood this morning. So, this is round 3.5, P2.5, VLC to 5. And let's see, I'm down 0. 0.6, which isn't bad. Um, it's not as great as I'd want for day five coming off of load. Wouldn't really like to get some of that load weight off of me. But um, I'm not sleeping as much as I know I need to to make this diet more successful. Mm. So, and I woke up this morning and one of my first grades was posted. And um, I don't know if any of you watch Glee, but they, they had a kind of a, an episode, which I thought was funny, and they called a B an Asian F. Well, I got a C on something, which is like a perfectionistic suicide note. So, um, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I don't know if any of you know <laughs> anything about that. But um, a C is, that's unacceptable. So, um, yeah, I'm really trying to get my head straight about it <clears throat> and um, work that out. So, um, so, and, you know, I've been staying up really late, working really hard, and it's not enough. My professors that I have this trimester are so hard. Um, there is there is a lot of work. So I, I said that the Dean warned me of that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm getting about four hours of sleep a night and it's not enough time still. So um, I'm feeling a little concerned. I'm having a day of doubt. I'm having a day of doubt, not of me necessarily, I know I can pull this out if I, I know how to do it from my patterns in the past. I know how to OD on Diet Coke, not sleep, um, use bad high energy foods or whatever to pull it around. You know, caffeinate all night, not sleep much. I know how to do that. That's how I got through college. That's how I did law school the first time. That's how I've done jobs. And I've always been top. <laughs> so I don't know how to do it without using those tools and being on P2 and not, you know, not using Diet Coke until midnight. I don't know. You know, I don't know how to do it this way. And, and I'm, I'm having a day of doubt of whether I should be. What's the priority here? Should I just finish this round and stabilize? I'm just telling you all the crap that's in my head. I don't know if anybody has ever had situations like this. I think some of you have. And so I guess I'm asking for your experience, strength, and hope. And it's one thing to say, oh, you can do it. And, and I know I can. But should I? Should I be? I don't know, you guys. I can't do C's. I can't have C's. Um, that's unacceptable. And, you know, I'll finish this round and flail around with lack of sleep and, and little releases. But, um, and then stabilize. But um, I don't want to do everything not enough. Not all the way. I don't want to be doing, I don't know, is it too much to do that? I don't know. Am I making any sense? Are you hearing all the confusion that's in my head? I don't know. I don't know what to do. So it's just a day of doubt. It's a day of doubt. Um, 
I'm going to call the dean and talk to her again today and see her take on it. Not about the diet. She doesn't know I'm dieting. But um, her take on the grade and, and so on and so forth. So um, it feels so good to be thinner. I feel so much more in control of my physicality. Um, and I like what I'm seeing in the mirror. I just don't want to sacrifice my grades. And this, you know, the six months in law school is a temporary blip on the map. Um, and I have been assured and told by other students that this will be the hardest six months of law school. Um, but next year will be significantly easier, significantly easier. So should I, should I just stabilize here and then wait to continue until July? I really wanted to get down to 150 by my birthday, which is in July. <clears throat> Maybe it's just too much to ask. I, this is just like a rambling vlog of doubt, but that's what's all going on in my head. So, you know, I just can't sacrifice the law school experience for, um, for what I'm doing. Anyway, I don't know. So that's what's going on in my head. Um, I'm, I'll probably be in a better space once the caffeine is fully soaked in and, um, and so on and so forth, but that's what's going on in my head. So I leave you with that. <laughs> Whatever. I, you know, my point of vlogging was to be really honest and, um, and I can come on here and just be positive and hurrah. And I think HCG is great and I think it works well for me. I just am saying that today I'm having a day of doubt in me, in my ability to do it all in whether, in timing, in, I can't, I don't know, I can't do C's, I can't do C's, um, I, I can live with a B once in a while, but I can't do a C, so, um, yeah, I don't know, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off, so, big release is easy stabilization, happy maintenance, I hope you all have a wonderful Friday, I have a very busy Friday, I'm working until 8 o'clock tonight, um, but I love you. I mean it, and I'm sorry if if my honesty is nasty or whatever. It's not hurrah and, and positive, you know. But my whole point, and I've said this all along, is that I just want to be really honest. And today, that's what's going on in my head is I'm spinning around on that. And it's probably a waste of energy and a leak of energy. And if I would just shut up in my head and move forward, maybe I'd be fine. But but, you know, a good four days of only three or four hours of sleep a night, that might twist my head a little too. But that's what it's going to take. Apparently, I need to sleep less and work harder. So, okay. Love you, mean it. Bye.